Welcome back to the Tidy Ram Hangar. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the Giga Power Gut Enter. This is the blue version, and I was going to compare the blue version to the Fansoys Blue Swoop and any other options that are out there right now. See which one's the best. Pluses and minuses to this one. Uh, so far, this one looks pretty massive and it looks pretty good. So let's get right into it. Now, I had problems with a few problems already. This flight stand doesn't extend. It's supposed to extend. I could probably take it apart and fix it. I'm not happy with that. That's not acceptable in a figure that costs this much. One more thing about this flight stand is you have to unscrew the piece that comes with it. So it comes with this already on. You have to unscrew it, take that off, and that's how you can plug this into his chest and then plug this piece into the flight stand. And that's how all that works. The other thing is I've already got a paint chip and some foam that still keeps getting stuck in it. But I've got a paint chip right here and I'm not liking that. There it is right here. Right out the box with the paint chip. Not happy with that at all. Love the paint though. Here he is without the flight stand. And I gotta say that I probably won't use the flight stand but I do like the fact that they included it. This guy actually has a, a great amount of uh, wing articulation that you can do and all kinds of different poses that you can put that in. So that's pretty cool too. Now I opted with the chrome. There's also the metallic. The metallic won't be quite as shiny and I also want it to look as G1 as possible. And here's how he looks next to the Fans Toys version in the alt mode. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy transformed up. go ahead now that we got them transformed up and have a look at the accessories okay so we have an alternate chest piece here so it is actually seems simple to change out but it's not as simple as you would think to change it out you lift this up and you simply right here you pop that off and then you pop this assembly on right here, is, it looks simple, but the fact that it all moves around and it takes a ridiculous amount of pressure because it is held in by friction, it's not as easy as it looks. So I did it once. I'm not gonna mess with that again, but I am gonna show you how it looks because check it out. You put the head, pop the head onto the beak, the alternate head, and of course everything is easier off camera but they have a really tight tolerance, so it's not gonna be flimsy and floppy. I understand that and appreciate that to a point, but only on swoop can you see what his other alternate head looks like without changing out his head. So this is his alternate head, and it looks ah, kind of like an angry face. He's angry. And if, if you want to go that route with it, it looks good. I'm going to stick with the cartoony look, but it really wouldn't be that hard to swap out, except for popping the new one back on or the other one back on is a bit of a challenge. Another challenge with this guy is the sword. You have to pretty much take this bottom section apart to get to the batteries. And when you put the batteries in, they're a crazy sized battery that I don't have. So 
One battery was too big, one battery was too small. I took the two small ones, stuck two of them in there, like in series, and it worked. So there we go. And here he is holding his two lighted swords. I uh, gotta tell you, with all the lighting I try to get to capture all this, it looks so much more impressive in the dark and it's kind of hard to get that same look with all of the lighting to try to capture all the detail. I had to put two of them in there to make it work like that. I see you have to take that thing halfway apart. Seems like a lot of work to get this thing just set up to use. Would have much rather the batteries just come with it, like in KO stuff, but laws. And it is cool that they included two. Now he's got these missile launchers which don't launch, which I like that because, let's move that up. You're not gonna have these things firing off, shooting off, or lose them accidentally. Good, I like it, you got the aesthetic. I'm not gonna be, uh, you know, shooting down a pile of centurions with it, so there's that. Looking at the chest, he looks great. Let's get up a swoop model. I do like the overall aesthetic and the shininess of him and uh, his uh, overall proportions seem great. And I gotta say, like when we get fan toys out here, it's gonna look a lot like fan toys, to tell you the truth. Now maybe they just copied it, or maybe they just, both of them copied the animation model that well. And I know that I've had a couple of, uh, this is my second Giga Power, and I don't see, there's some interesting line work, but it doesn't look as stylized as the rest of the Giga Power line. Like the rest of them are quite stylized and they, they have that look that makes them a little bit, I don't know, different than G1, a little bit m way more line work than you see in G1 and all that stuff, which I don't mind. Okay, so here he is next to the Fans Toys version. And first thing I wanna say is I got this guy for about 155 from Show Z and I paid like 184 for him. So if you look at the two of them, uh, I feel like more value out of this guy. Now, Fan Toys is still a great figure, and if you pick them both up, I guess I could get a scale over here. But they feel like they're about the same weight. Fan Toys might even weigh a little bit more because there's more die cast in him. And that's just the way it is. Now, I do think they both look great. I've heard of QC issues with Fan Toys. I don't have any real QC issues. I actually have more QC issues with this guy. So let's go ahead and have a look at the backs. and they both look extremely clean in the back. In fact, they look so much alike. They both have their little tails, which I just cut my nails, so. Um, now that's plastic. This feels like die, that's not, might be die cast. Just everything feels die cast on the fans toys. And I do have to admit I like the color better, the blue color on the Giga Power one more. And I am gonna display my Giga Power one in my main display and move fans toys to the elsewhere display. I don't want to get rid of them because, well, I like them both. And Soup is my favorite Dinobot out of all of them. But starting at the top, let's do a little bit of a quick comparison. Okay, so starting at the top, the, the head sculpts both look good. And so it's really kind of hard to differentiate like which one looks better or more tune accurate. And uh, I like them both, but you know, then again, Fan Toys usually is so close to the animation. Uh, the wings themselves, there's there's line work on the wings, like this this line, this detail and paint and stuff. And so Fans Toys has it too, but it's just simpler looking on the Fans Toys, which is probably more cartoon accurate. Going down here, I like this red and the uh, gray outlines to it. This is just the red. And I did kind of feel like out of all of the figures of Fans Toys, this is one, this one and Lupus were kind of the two most plain looking Fans Toys figures. But at the time this guy came out, he was so much more impressive than the other competition. I love this blue more than this blue, but then again, they're both okay. And then moving down, of course you've got, both of them have a great range of motion for articulation. This one executes the flaps for, for the, and you hear the nice solid ratchet. It just feels like a solid figure, it really does. Of course we already know what fan toys is all about. And then down here, this is the chrome is super shiny. This is not quite as shiny uh, as a chrome all, of, all the way across the board. And then the lower legs, they just, it just, they both look great. They both look so similar. 
you'd be great to have each one. Now there is the Bullfire Airstrike. I don't recommend that one just because it's too small. It looks okay, it's more stylized than either one of these, and well, you probably get it way cheaper than either of these options also. Here he is, I'm loving the light up gimmicks, I'm uh, loving the chrome paint scheme, I'm loving the color of the blue, I'm loving the size and the heft, I'm not loving the QC issues where I had this small section here fall off, this section here has fallen off, the stand doesn't extend properly, and I had a paint chip right out of the box, so those are all QC issues, but for a $150 figure, we shouldn't have that many QC issues, but on the other hand, it is a great looking swoop, a great looking swoop option, and with a little bit of glue, I can make it all work. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know which one you like the best. Let me know if there's another swoop option out there I didn't bring up that you think would fit. Like, subscribe, and talk to Darian Banger out.